Hi, I'm Daniel and this is Asheville. Today we are at the Mercedes-Benz Customer Experience Center in Barnsley for some unfinished business. And we've stopped, woohoo! Let's do it. 39 miles an hour. We don't have insurance for that. Oh no, it's not my fault. Turn back the clock one year, we did a full review on a Mercedes-Benz Actros 5. In this review, we tested the active braking system. Now, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it didn't work. Apparently, the ABA should have given me several warnings before applying the brakes and stopping the collision from happening with the VW. So Mercedes have invited me down now to show me how it works and to put it to the test again. Walking my way through the parking area, I can see all the demonstration units here. Get this about this site, it is a perfect square. It is 25 acres by 25 acres. I'm standing in front of the Mercedes Actros 4, so we're gonna start with this one. Now, number five is a more advanced unit, but we're gonna show that number four works first, then we're gonna move over to the five. Please remember that all of these systems are only to assist a driver. Active driver assist active braking assist. These trucks are not autonomized like anything that you see at Tesla where the truck is driving itself. So drivers should not be relying on this. This is only to help prevent a collision. And in some cases it can stop a collision, but it is here to help us. Drivers have to pay attention and be fully aware of their surroundings and what is going on on the road. Most truck manufacturers have got two types. One is proximity control, what works on the cruise control, and the other is active brake assist. Now this works with the cruise control and when your foot is on the accelerator pedal. Here's how it works. Each vehicle has a radar sensor continually transmitting waves. These waves, when you're going below 30 miles an hour, they span out 120 degrees this way. And you look in front at about 60 meters. But when you go over 30 miles an hour, that 120 turns into 18 degrees this way, which is basically the line of the truck going forward. And it looks in front 260 meters. Unfortunately, my Golf is no longer with us. I did try to use T-Cut to take out the damage in it, but it didn't work. We don't want to put anyone in harm's way, even though we believe it will work. So we're not going to do that. And we don't have insurance for that. However, we have this blow up Mercedes what we're gonna use. It's the same size as the car, so it should work as a prop in this play that we're about to start. So for the purposes of this test, we're gonna turn off the proximity control. So we are only using ABA, not the two combined. Right, this is it, take one. Um, the ABA in that Actros 4. Let's do it. Do you feel for the yeah. yeah. So I am doing nothing. Nothing. We're just aiming for that yellow cube. Okay. For that yellow cube. Right. right. And me. So 25 slightly, miles an hour. Slightly left. 26 miles an hour. No warnings yet. Slightly left. Slightly left. Here we go. <laughs> My fault. We were slightly, that's what I kept saying, come slightly left. So we've came off and yeah. came back on track. Okay. And lost the picture and then came back on. Is that what it was? Yeah. But you heard the system coming on. I did hear it. And then it breaking, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was take one which wasn't very successful. I'm speaking to the guys here at Mercedes, because when I was straight on, I wasn't entirely straight on. I was slightly off and then I veered back to the left a little bit. Now, I thought that I stopped the vehicle, but the hazards you can see flashing here, that means that the truck intervened and the truck did. Because if I had braked in time and it was me who stopped the truck, then the hazards wouldn't be flashing at the moment. We're gonna give it another go. and I'm gonna try and drive a little bit straighter. We're on take two, and my cruise control is set for 36 miles an hour. We're at 26 miles an hour. We're heading towards it, 33, 34. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have stopped. I didn't put my foot on the brake. I didn't do anything. We got up to 36 miles an hour and I had a warning and we have stopped with ample room, I would say. Fantastic. So once it didn't work, once it did, but the first time I think it was me, for good measure, I'm gonna do it one more time and it's best out of three.
This is the final one. Let's try again. So I'm above 10 miles an hour and I flick the switch. The cruise control has taken over. Okay, we're at 32, 33, 34. Here we go. We have a collision imminent. Will it stop? Yes. Spot on. I didn't put my foot on the brake at all. The truck has stopped and it clearly works. You have to get your head around trusting the lorry that it will stop, but no, fantastic. Great stopping distance. It's definitely working. Now that's in the four. Now let's move into the five and see how we get on with that. Here we are ready to test the number five. Now let me tell you the main difference between the Actros 4 and the Actros 5. So on the five, there is an additional safety feature, which is this camera here. It still uses the same radar. However, the addition of the camera helps with pedestrians. Let me explain why. If a pedestrian is to step in the road here, the radar will spot the pedestrian However, if the pedestrian freezes and doesn't move at that point, the radar can no longer see the pedestrian because they aren't moving. The camera will pick up the pedestrian and will not allow the truck to move. One last point I need to tell you about this system is that if it's activated three times in five hours, it goes into shutdown. The only way to turn it back on is to go into a Mercedes-Benz dealership or have Mercedes come out to you. Now, this is for a number of reasons. The first being it's legislation, it's actually law. The second being they believe that the driver is relying on the system them and not driving the truck properly himself. Another reason could be that the driver isn't roadworthy. He shouldn't be behind the wheel of a lorry because how could this have happened three times in five hours? And the last being the system could actually be malfunctioning. On the back of the Actros 5, we have a trailer connected. So this should further demonstrate how this truck would react in a real life setting. Time to jump in and get it going. The first thing I notice when I jump in this cab is we have the mirror cam and we have the conventional mirrors side by side. Now, no lorries actually go out on the road with this. This is what Mercedes have designed to teach drivers who are used to using the conventional mirrors to start using this as well. So the two being integrated here helps people to trust that these mirrors actually show exactly what these show and in some cases, maybe more. Having a look here, I can see the full digital dash. Click here to see a video where we did an in-depth review on this. Here we go in the Actros 5, take one. Twenty-four miles an hour. Twenty-five miles an hour. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. We're waiting for it. Here we go. We've got a warning, and it's taken over. Whoa! So on the first test, it worked well. I stayed dead on straight. I had my warning and the truck managed to stop. Even with the trailer on the back, it is a very safe distance. So what we're gonna try and do this time, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna speed up a bit more. Going for it again. This is take two. See if we can get up a little bit faster this time and see how we get on. And here we go. We're gonna try and get faster this time. 25, 26, 27, come on. Let's get speed, here we go. 34, 35, 36, 37, come on, 38, 39, 39 miles an hour, collision impact. And we've stopped, woo -hoo! Wow. So we actually managed to get ourselves up to 39 miles an hour and the truck kicked in and stopped us. We have a trailer on, but the trailer isn't loaded because of course, if we had a load on the back of it, the entire load would try to come to the front and hit the board and it'll wanna go through the cab and knock me into the car as well. The fact the trailer isn't loaded means that the trailer is actually bouncing around. Nevertheless, the active brake assist worked perfectly and we've stopped and on the road that would have avoided a collision. And unfortunately, the active brake is no longer available. So that feature I told you about earlier where you have three in five hours, it has now knocked this out so this won't work. Now on the four, 
the control box is in a different place and the technicians here can override it so we can keep doing the demo time after time but on these newer models on the 5 it's hidden here in the dashboard and we can't get to it properly so unfortunately for today that is all we're going to do but we can see that it does work That's it from the Mercedes-Benz Customer Experience Center. As you can see from my ample demonstrations, the active braking assist works. I'm very thankful that Mercedes have been able to prove me wrong since my last video, and they've showed me how it works and that in a real life setting, it will work. This is very pleasing to see that technology and safety have come together to keep a lot more road users safe. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see a review on a Mercedes-Benz tipper and click here to see part one of this video. Thinking of taking this back to the yard. Quite like it. We could like play football with it.